an air show pilot performs the stunt of his life. This is not going to be good. A plane just landed on the highway. Pilot Bill Leff has been flying airplanes for more than four decades. Flying is a great thing. You become part of the airplane and it becomes an extension of you. And that's what's great about flying. It's just the freedom of it. Leff does more than just fly. He wows crowds across the globe, performing death-defying stunts at air shows. Well, I do loops and rolls and things called Cuban H, which are two loops back to back and point rolls. I will admit that uh, there are moments in in that in his in his air show career that uh, have scared me. He can lose his life doing this if he's not careful. Left's plane of choice is his 1943 T6 Texan. These historic planes were used during World War II to train fighter pilots. It was called the T6 Texan because it was built in Dallas, Texas, designed in the late 1930s. I was looking for an airplane that I could do aerobatics with. That's been a great airplane. July 22, 2007. Bill Leff and his son Greg are flying to the Air Venture event in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. It's a collection of pilots that really enjoy airplanes of all kinds, from little home-built airplanes that they build out of steel tubing and wood to big jets. Oshkosh Airport becomes the busiest airport in the world for that week. There will be as many as 13,000 airplanes. During Air Venture, the population of Oshkosh skyrockets as people pour into the city on Highway 41. It's busy all day because people are going to and from the air show at all different times. The lefts are having an uneventful flight as they cross the Wisconsin border. As the engine had been running very smoothly, in fact, I'd even commented my son on how good it was running. But things change quickly. 20 miles south of Oshkosh, over Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, the plane's engine dies. The engine quit. You know, totally quit at that point. There was smoke coming down the side of the airplane. The engine was shaking pretty violently. The plane loses altitude quickly. To be honest with you, the first thought came to my mind is this isn't good. Bill knows there's a small airport in Fond du Lac. I immediately turned towards Fond du Lac Airport and called Fond du Lac Tower and they cleared me to land on any runway if I could get there. But it soon becomes apparent to Bill he's going to need to find a different solution. So my choices were parking lots, housing developments, and uh, buildings. But then Bill spots another option, Highway 41. It was the clearest open piece of pavement that I could get the airplane down on. But on the highway, traffic is heavy, with people en route to the air show. State Trooper Scott Linack is on the shoulder of the road, helping a disabled vehicle. I was dispatched for a motorhome with a flat tire. We were trying to get as many people as we could to, to move over to give them space to change the tire. Just behind, rookie trooper Chris Mondlock and his supervisor Luke Newman assist Linack. When you turn your lights on, your camera goes on and we were providing lights for Trooper Linek, and normally you would turn your camera off. But being that I was new to the job, I forgot to turn the camera off. Up above, Bill Left frantically scopes out the highway and formulates a plan for his emergency landing. There was a space of eight to 10 car lengths that basically looked like a moving runway to me. So my thought was if I could land in that space, the cars behind me will stop, and the cars in front of me will keep going, so I ought to be able to stop before I get to them. On the ground, troopers Monlock and Newman receive a call of a road rage incident. We were pulling out into traffic to go to that other call when this all happened. They pull out onto the highway and right in the middle of Bill Left's makeshift runway. They can't believe their eyes as the plane glides overhead. Basically, we just saw the underneath of it. There was no engine noise. Its engine had seized up, so it was completely silent. My first thought was, he's going to crash, and we're going to have a huge mess. People are going to get hurt out of this. The plane speeds toward Trooper Linax cruiser up ahead. It was almost an instant reaction to kind of duck and brace. When I looked out the windshield, all I saw was the bottom of the airplane. The pilot's wheels touch down, and he lands the plane on the highway. So you're just standing on the brakes, trying to stop and hope you don't hit something. And I was waiting for the impact, the crunch. 
The troopers create a moving roadblock to halt traffic on the highway as they make their way toward the plane. Because you're always planning for the worst, hoping for the best. Are the pilots hurt? Uh, how many cars did they strike? When they reach the plane, they're relieved to find it's in one piece and it did not hit any cars. This could have been a major disaster. There's a lot of vehicles with all that fuel and everything else there. It could have been uh, a horrendous accident. You know, this is probably the best outcome we could have had of any other possibility we could think of. Bill Leff and his son exit the plane, feeling lucky to be alive. Trooper Mondlock greets them at the wing. He just stopped and said, you really scared me. And I said, well, yeah, kind of scared me too. They didn't seem excited about the situation at all, like they land on highways every day. Bill calls his wife before she sees him on the news. I could have lost both of them at one time, so both my husband and my son, that, that's a scary, scary moment for me. But those driving on Highway 41 that day will never forget when they witness their own up-close and personal air show. You watch the video now, you're like, Wow, it's still hard to believe that happened and nobody got hurt. And this is a once-in-a-career kind of thing. It's probably one of the craziest things that I've ever experienced. I know you're recording this, but I got better video. I just talked to the police. They have dash cam. 